Tell me about a time where you had to use data or analytics to make a decision. This question is an excellent opportunity for you to show the interviewer that you think analytically and make decisions rationally. Many candidates struggle with this question, often because they underestimate the value of their own experiences with data. That's why today we're going to tackle this interview question head on, really get stuck into how to impress the interviewer with our knowledge, our skills and our experience. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the perfect way to structure your answer in just five easy, straightforward steps. I will also share with you the seven most common mistakes candidates make so you can avoid them. Many people struggle choosing what to talk about when answering this question, so I'm going to give you three things to think about when picking the story from your experience. And then finally, we'll combine everything we've learned into one game-changing example answer. If you hate the sound of my voice, you should check out the show notes for a link to a text article on this topic. Other than that, let's begin. We are going to start off with answer structure and the five steps to take to construct the perfect response. These type of questions, often called competency-based questions, are all about sharing your experience with the interviewer. The interviewer wants to hear what you did, how you did it, and maybe most important of all, why you did it. In order to achieve this, your answer needs to be well structured. You need to ensure that you hit all the key points that you want the interviewer to hear in a logical order, while also avoiding the urge to ramble on. The best way to pull this off is by using the B star method. Using this method, you will split your answer into five parts. The first is the B stands for belief. You want to begin your response by sharing your thoughts and feelings regarding the subject matter. This helps set the stage for your answer and demonstrate your personal connection to the topic. If this doesn't make much sense to you, don't worry, our example answer will be using this structure later in this video. Next up we have S for situation. Briefly describe the context or background of the scenario in which your actions took place. This provides the interviewer with an understanding of the circumstances surrounding your experience. Remember, it's essential to keep this part concise, as the primary focus should be on your actions and the results. Just give the interviewer the quick who, what, where, when and why. Following the situation, we have T for task. Explain your specific role and responsibilities in the situation. Up next, we have the most important section, and that is A for action, or activity if you prefer. Describe the steps you took to achieve the desired outcome and explain the rationale behind your actions. This part of your answer should be the mo most detailed as it shows the interviewer just what you are capable of doing. And finally, we have R for the results. Conclude your response with the results of your actions using figures or quantifiable outcomes wherever possible. This will demonstrate to the interviewer the impact of your efforts and your ability to deliver tangible results in your role. This is also where you could share any lessons you learned from the experience. So now you know the ideal structure to use when answering this question. Next up, you need to pick the best example from your experience to tell the interviewer. Later on, I will share three tips for picking the perfect example. But for now, let's look at some of the most common mistakes candidates make when addressing this question. Firstly, do not avoid the question. Ensure the response clearly explains how data was used in making a decision. Do not downplay the situation. Don't undersell the importance of the task at hand and how important it was to your organization's goals. Do not overhype the situation. Pretty much the opposite of what we just said. Be honest about the task without exaggerating. Do not give a one sentence answer. Provide enough detail to demonstrate that you know what you are talking about and are comfortable using data, analysing data and using data in your decision making process. Do not overly describe the scenario or miss the action. Discuss the situation but use more time on your actions than on any description. Do not have a passive role in the situation. Don't just be a backseat driver. Get up front and show the interviewer you were an active participant in what was transpiring. Finally, do not forget to mention what you learned. It's crucial to discuss the lessons taken from the experience. So we've explored how to construct our response 
and we've also looked at pitfalls to avoid when answering this question. Next, let's delve into selecting the most effective example to use in our answer. Think about the following points when you're coming up with stories from your experience to tell the interviewer. The first thing your answer should have is a positive outcome. Choose an example that can only be described as a success. A success driven by you and one which you can use to showcase the benefits of your actions. This is not to say you can't have taken lessons away from the venture, and it is always good to talk about how you would improve upon your actions in the future, but the underlying situation should be resolved successfully when you are outlining your answer. The second thing your example should be is relevant to the job you are applying for. Choose an example that is closely related to the job you are applying for. An example that is from the same industry or sector would be the most preferable. A good trick here would be to learn what upcoming work your new team has in the pipeline and use examples from your past that are relevant to that work. And finally, your example should represent a challenge. Look for examples where you faced a significant challenge or problem and were able to resolve it effectively. Put simply, you are trying to impress the interviewer. Make sure your example isn't some one of the mill situation that anybody could have fixed. Pick an example which shows that only you had the skills or know-how to get the job done. Now, let's put everything we have learned together and see a B-Star example in action. Again, the question being answered is, tell me about a time where you had to use data or analytics to make a decision. I've always been an advocate for data-driven decision-making. I believe that while intuition is important, Combining it with solid data insights can lead to more effective outcomes. In my previous role as a marketing analyst, our team faced a significant challenge. We were tasked with increasing the efficiency of our ad spend without reducing its impact. My role was to analyze our ad performance data to identify areas where we could optimize our spending. I started by collecting and scrutinizing data from various sources, including our past ad campaigns and industry benchmarks. Using analytical tools like Google Analytics and Tableau, I segmented the data to identify trends and patterns. I discovered that certain platforms were yielding a lower ROI compared to others. Based on these insights, I proposed reallocating our budget towards the more effective platforms and testing new ad creators. This strategy led to a 20% increase in campaign ROI within the first quarter. Not only did we save 15% of our budget, but we also saw a rise in customer engagement metrics. This experience solidified my belief in the power of data in making informed decisions. All right then, that wraps up our analysis of this interview question. I hope by watching this video, you'll be more prepared for this question than your next interview. Speaking of being prepared, if there are any other interview questions you struggle with, let me know in the comments and we will tackle that question in our very next video. Until then, I hope your next interview is a success. Take care and goodbye from me.